Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. They look like this. I got one darker shade and one nude shade just so I could see the difference between the formula of the light and dark shades because I find that they do vary quite often between the extreme shades like that with any brand really. These were $9.99 each, so like 10 bucks each. That price did kind of throw me just because it is at the drugstore and I get my ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks for $6 and I love those so it's kind of expensive for a drugstore but I thought I would still give them a go, see how I like them. Um, honestly, I really, I mean I like this one better than the one I am wearing right now simply because with any darker shade, it's going to be a little bit more patchy, and that is the case with this one. But you can build it up, and it is buildable. But the only reason it's buildable is because these are not going to dry completely matte. And that kind of annoys me, <laughs> because to me, I'm like in the whole matte lip craze as everyone else is. And if I can get my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipsticks for $6, and they dry completely matte, don't move then why would I pay even more for something that is going to move? Like, there are upsides, like it's more comfortable to wear because it's not so set into your lips like that. But for me, don't say it's matte if it's not completely matte. Because this is not completely matte. And watch, here, I'll like kiss my hand. Like, so I'm kind of annoyed that they advertise it as matte color when it's really not. And I'm also kind of annoyed <laughs> with the fact that this little frosting, not frosting, <laughs> frosted type glass that they have um, at the packaging is kind of deceiving. Like this color looks like a darker nude than it is and this color looks like a darker like a berry than it is. So I thought this was going to be a tad darker than it was. It really turns out a lot more pinky, if that makes sense. Let me go ahead and swatch them for you on my hand so you can see kind of the differences between each one. This is called Seduction by the way, this shade, and then this berry shade is called Addiction. <laughs> so you can see here is the berry one. Just looks a little bit lighter and more pink than in the package. And this one here just looks a little lighter as well. Um, not that I don't like that, but yeah, I really do prefer this one over the darker one because nudes are my thing, they always have been. but. It's really pretty, it's a really pretty color, um, but again, I would probably choose, if I want a matte lip, I'm probably going to choose something that's completely matte. I mean, you put them on, you don't have to worry about them going anywhere, you don't have to worry about touching them up for like hours and hours, and so for me, the fact that Revlon said, oh, it's matte, and you know, whatever, like, no. It's not. Like, it's just not. Overall, I mean, I don't not like these but I don't really like them either. They're not terrible, terrible products, but like, I mean, look, you can still see that this is shiny. It's not drying down right away. It does dry down a little bit, but it's always a bit sticky. It's not like really sticky, but it's always a bit sticky, at, like meaning it doesn't dry down completely matte. That's my biggest thing with it. It says matte, it's not matte. That kind of bothers me. And also it's $10. It's like really Revlon. We're looking for alternatives to matte liquid lipsticks, which I was really excited because I thought this was, but it's really not. And for $10 and it really not being a good alternative, I'm kind of just like, I don't hate them, but I don't love them. I do say I, I wouldn't repurchase them. I would not go out of my way to get them again. My advice to you all on these puppies is to just skip them. I know that sounds a little bit harsh, but they do have great pigmentation and all. I mean, they're pretty colors, but when it comes down to it, if you're looking for a matte liquid lipstick that's going to stay all day, this is not what you're looking for. And that's what I thought it was, and so that's why I'm a little disappointed. So if you're looking for liquid lipsticks, I say go look at the Milani ones. I haven't tried them, but I know that they are there at the drugstore, and they do dry matte. I say go online and order some ColourPop ones. They are only $6 and they dry completely matte and are beautiful. Um, there's plenty of other alternatives that are actually liquid lipstick. Basically, these are just kind of eh. Just kind of eh for me, honestly. There are other options, so. They're not terrible, but look. And look. I just wiped with a towel on my hand. 
If you guys have tried these, then let me know what you think down in the comments below. Um, I'm interested to see what other people think. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you thought it was helpful, if I gave you some good advice on a makeup product. That is what my channel is about. It's just about sharing the knowledge, sharing the looks, you know. And if you want more of my channel, then go ahead and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!